At America Makes, one of our key initiatives is to promote the development of the next generation of manufacturing problem solvers. How do we do that? By developing strategies and programs that will introduce 3D printing technology to future engineers, scientists, and industrial designers, our future American workforce. This current generation of students stands at the forefront of this new technology, and we want to prepare them to enter this exciting world. 3D printing is a technology that young people can relate to right now. Essentially, whatever you can dream, you can build. At our innovation factory here in Youngstown, we've hosted teachers and students from across the nation, eager to develop their own knowledge of 3D printing technology, enabling them to go back to their schools and share their knowledge with other educators and students. Through their participation, they've provided us with valuable insight as to how they would like to use 3D printing in the classroom and how students will respond to the technology. One thing I know as an elementary teacher is that kids can learn just about anything and so um, I wanted to be exposed to it because I know that this, that 3D printing is most likely the future of our uh, manufacturing. It's going to be big I think across all areas of, um, of, of the economy. So I see it more as preparing my students for what's ahead. Students are more consumers of technology rather than producers of technology. And the way the workforce, I believe, is moving is, is that we need students to have skills to become more of those producers of, of technology. And young children have such an inquisitive mind to begin with. And they're natural scientists. They're always asking questions and exploring and wanting to learn who, what, when, where, and how. And so by participating in engineering projects, we're just nurturing a child's natural um, mindset on how things work and how we can make and build things and helping to, to, to steer them towards their interests. Obviously, it's all about in innovation. And innovation is really important. I teach at the middle school level, so this is the, the target age, and if younger, even better, but the target age at latest that they should be exposed to this kind of um, additive manufacturing in order to allow them to think out of the box in terms of what they've been doing. So it's an extension of what I've already been teaching that will take it up another notch for my children. My students. <laughs> They're my children. <laughs> One of the biggest things that I've taken away from it is is the ease to which you can do it. That there's this perception that 3D printing or CAD production is hard, is challenging. It's really not as hard as you might think, and it's actually quite a bit of fun. From a, from a teaching perspective, it means that I can teach them very easily because I'm comfortable with it, and it's okay to make mistakes. And from a student perspective, that means a lot because if I'm okay making mistakes, they're okay with making mistakes. Getting students in on that now is gonna mean that they're more and more comfortable later on, and they're gonna have the skills necessary. By the time they're in college, it's just going to become commonplace and they're going to be right there on the cutting edge and ready to go. So I'm preparing my students now for the future later on. We've taken our message on the road, visiting the National Maker Fair and the USA Science and Engineering Festival, where we introduced hundreds of thousands of people to 3D printing technology. Attendees saw firsthand that this technology is being used in real world situations and how it's changing the world of manufacturing as we know it. We even asked some dreamers to share their own ideas for future 3D product inventions. A 3D printer that can print food you can eat. A cannibal. A moon in Mars base. Glasses. A robot that makes your bed for you. We are committed to increasing the nation's awareness, enthusiasm, and expertise in 3D printing. Whether we're sponsoring the first robotics competitions or developing grand challenges, we are encouraging the participants to use 3D printing to create new solutions to world and even out of this world problems. With the help of our members, America Makes is increasing awareness, creating enthusiasm, enhancing learning, and increasing the nation's expertise in additive manufacturing. To do this, our America Makes members are developing webinars, training programs, curriculum, competitions, and communication plans to proliferate the best practices in additive manufacturing workforce and educational outreach across America. These kids, are, they're, they're going to imagine things that, uh, that don't even exist, that people are going to say, I've got to have that, you know, and it just becomes something that, that um, is a standard. The really fascinating thing about it, this whole paradigm in education is probably changing because I've always spent my time trying to prepare my students to be 
um, job seekers. But with this type of a technology, it's like they're job creators now. And it's, it, it, you know, it gets you all excited just to, to say that because, wow, that's really neat, you know?